Aero. It's arguably one of the biggest buzzwords in road cycling right now, and can make all the difference when your sights are set on glory. These wind-cheating aerodynamic bikes are certainly popular amongst the pros, with each team wanting their sprinters and breakaway specialists on the speediest equipment. Here are five of the slickest 2016 aero road bikes of the pros. Arguably the finest aero road bike available. Trek's new Madone 9 series is not just a fast frame set, it's a fast bike. For this, the American company thought well outside the box and built many of its own components to best lower the numbers in the wind tunnel. Special brake helpers sit flush with the frame and along with a custom one-piece carbon handlebar and stem, allow for nearly no side of cables. But that's just a minor example. Truly unique, its ride quality completely defies its aerodynamic look. For this, the new Madone hides a second highly flexible seat tube within the outside aero tube. The hidden tube is placed on a pivot, a technology borrowed directly from Trek's cobble-eating Domane. All of this, and the American-made Madone frame still weighs in under a kilo. Released before the 2014 Tour de France, the German-engineered Aero is regularly seen at the pointy end under Movistar and Katusha riders. The Aero carries a long list of Aero trickery, but none more important than its pro geometry, which helps to reduce the biggest wind blocker, the rider, and forces an aggressively long and low position. Another big part of its wind cutting ability is found in Canyon's own Aero cockpit. This one piece bar and stem saves a claim 5.5 watts at 45 km per hour compared to a standard bar and stem. Ridden by powerful sprinters, the Aerode CF SLX is far stiffer than its predecessor, especially at the head tube. And something often overlooked, the braking on this machine is stellar, with standard direct mount calipers. Created in specialized own wind tunnel, with the help from McLaren Apply Technologies, the specialized Venge VIAS is a money no object race machine. Plenty of features scream speed, such as the truncated head tube, integrated low riding stem, and proprietary rim brakes front and rear that form part of the wind cheating surface. With sprinting superstars such as Peter Sagan and Marcel Kittel riding this bike in 2016, you can bet it's stiff under power too. In fact, the American brand claims head tube stiffness is close to that of the tarmac, while the bottom bracket is the stiffest of all specialized road bikes. You can have your cake and eat it too, but you will put on weight. Such a stiff and slick bike means the frame is quoted at over 1100 grams. Then there's the small matter of a complete bike costing $12,500 or 11,000 pounds. Cervelo returns to the World Tour for 2016 with the African Dimension Data Team. There's little new about the aerodynamic benchmark setter, that is the Cervelo S5, but it's the first time the Manx missile, Mark Cavendish, has been on board one. Cervelo are no strangers to the aero road bike market, effectively creating it all the way back in 2001 with its soloist. The current S5 debuted at the end of 2014 and sits as the Canadian brand's pinnacle road racer. Aerodynamically, it was always strong, and the newer version builds on that success with a more aggressive fit and greater frame stiffness, two things the pros absolutely love. Where other aero superbikes call upon proprietary components for reduced drag, Cervelo has kept choices far more open, with the key example being the S5's normal brakes kept in normal positions. Launched at a similar time to the new Specialized Venge and Trek Madone, Scott's new foil is a radical change from its hugely successful ancestor. Compared to the old, the new foil is said to save 27 seconds over 40 km at an average speed of 45 km per hour. While drag is reduced, the biggest story is seen with an 89% increase in vertical frame compliance. The older foil was notoriously rigid, and this one is greatly more comfortable to ride. The Swiss company claims a 54cm frame to weigh in at just 945 grams. But despite the low weight, frame stiffness is said to have improved at both the head tube and bottom bracket. The 2016 season kicked off with Orica Green Edge's Simon Gerrans winning the Tour Down Under and his teammate Caleb Ewan getting a handful of sprint wins too. Interestingly though, these wins were on the older foil, with rumours that the new foil may not allow these notoriously low-riding Aussies their desired handlebar height. 